so this can get very messy and that's why i don't like it that much but still we do it <laughs> I mean, look, it does look really good and gives that flawless look and it really opens your eyes up underneath, but it's just annoying. It's gone all over me and I don't like mess. That should do. Donkey. <coughs> and don't keep your mouth open when you're doing it because like me it's just gone in my throat i can't breathe don't Billy. can you not do fuck it? off Billy. i'm doing a video <laughs> oh We can sort it. We can sort it. Angled brush, and it's time for contour. I'm trying to start with a bit, but I always get carried away. Too harsh. You want it soft. But this is a bit of an orangey colour for a contour, but I haven't got a right contour palette yet. And the one that I do have is too light. But with a contour palette, you need cooler colours to create that definition. And this is a bit warm and orangey, but oh well. I think it looks fine because it gives me colour to my cheeks so I don't really care and sometimes I think contour can wash you out and make you look grey and it can go really muddy as well which I don't like and I've just put too much on there and we'll blend it out the key is blend. Blendy, blendy, blendy. Can we do some of these guys? Right, so as you can see, it just gives you a bit more colour, like without this ring light on, you can't really, you can't tell with this ring light, it's so annoying because it's so bright, but in real life I just look sun kissed right now and you can either leave it like this uh, or you can add blusher which I do love blusher so much because it gives you them rosy cheeks um, sometimes it's best to go back under with this powder brush and just blend that in as well where you've baked sometimes it can stick out and you don't want that you want it to look natural so yeah you can leave it like this with just bronzer on or you can go in with a blusher and personally like i say i like blush i'll go in with the matte one first from so either it's like a peachy but it's actually got a bit of shimmer in so i'm gonna go in with this and see what this looks like because we don't want it too much We just want to add a bit more colour to our cheeks. I think that might be alright to be fair. I don't think I'm going to go in with that one from MAC because that is very pigmented. Put a bit on our nose. I'm going to leave it like that. Next I'm going to do highlighter. I'm going to take a smaller brush so we can really pack that highlight on the highs of our cheekbones I 
and the best thing to do is pack it on where you want to create the most like shimmer depth and then blend it out lightly with your hand around it so it don't look harsh on our nose and what I like to do on my nose is do it on the tip and then just here at the top so not all the way down your nose just like that so you're leaving like a bit here Cupid's bow push all the powder and whatnot out and brush them up too so you really get that shape and then I'm going to take the darker section and just fill my brows in also my brow look has actually changed a lot since like this time last year I used to use pomade and do quite a thickish brow and really definitive brow as well now I just take the lighter shade and just put it at the front because you don't want that to look too blocky you just want to give it the shape though back at the front because if not it's going to look odd So there's that brow done and then I like to just brush it with the spoolie at the front so it's not so harsh. Now we take the eyebrow gel and fluff them brows up. Not too much though. Also it keeps your hairs in place. Because I remember before I didn't use this, my eyebrow hair here would like go down. Bloody annoying. I mean this isn't the best one. I mean, it don't make your eyebrows rock hard, but anyway, some people don't like that. Like your brows being crunchy. I do, but I can't afford these other ones. They're so expensive, it's ridiculous. Now we're gonna do the underneath, underneath shadow. And just bring that in to where we've made the V shape. Now we take the blending brush and just blend this line out as well. So it isn't hard. Now I'm going to do shimmer under the eyebrow bone, eyebrow bone and inner corner highlight. So I'm going to take this one, just put a bit here, if you don't like shimmer you don't have to do this because it looked highlighted anyway from using the MAC paint part, I think I put too much on there, blend it in my finger, when I do this I just dab it in the inner corner to get as much pigmentation for that pop because you really want it to pop there then we curl our eyelashes before we do anything and this is a must for me I think it makes your eyelashes look really really nice with any look right what I'm gonna do here is get a brown eyeliner sharpen it this is a dark brown and just go along the lash line this is hard to do on camera so I'm going to go off and then show you when it's done so I've just done that and you can just leave it as it is or blend it out but I'm going to blend it out just blend the top bit up so you get that smooth 
and I'm just going to pull it out towards the edge. Can you see the difference? I'm just going to put some here and like do a bit of a smoky wing. Smoke that out. love it now I've waited for that mascara to dry I'm just going to go in with this one to build the thickness up even more because I feel like when it's wet it doesn't build up as good you have to let it dry a little but the only thing with this is it can go a bit clumpy but I like my lashes to stand out with mascara now I'm going to take a nude eyeliner and just put this in my waterline to brighten my eyes up look at the difference I hate doing this as well because it goes underneath so a tip is to get one of these and the fluffy side just wipe it underneath now i'm going to take this black color and just add some more definition to the wing with the same brush that we used tap off the excess now i don't want this to look too much I've just done that. I'm just gonna wipe it off. Drag it out. I mean, it looks all right like this, but I just want to add a bit more definition. Now we are taking the glow spray the glow spray shake it just spray it on your face I like to wet my face because it's wet now so you 